Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another live in the UU tier. I feel like I haven't played UU in like years, but we <laughs> made a team really quickly. I have a Mega Aerodactyl, Pursuit Trapping Mega Aerodactyl. We have uh, Offensive Rocks, Cobalion, and the only weakness that the two share in common, well actually they share no weaknesses in common, but uh, the only thing that one doesn't resist that the other one is weak to is fighting types, which is why the third Pokemon is Jellicent. Can take fighting type moves, doesn't take dark type moves too well though, so gotta watch out for those uh, fighting types with dark type coverage. Then we got uh, Fortress for the physical hits. Uh, obviously, Jellicent is our special wall, Fortress being the physical wall, Spike Setter. Also got Toxic Spikes, Rapid Spin, and Gyro Ball on there. Then we have Specs Gardevoir, which hits like an absolute monster. We have uh, Trace on there, which is actually a really cool ability in uh, in UU. You can trace uh, uh, Swift Swim from um, from Mega Swampert and things like that, so uh, it's really cool. And uh, finally, we have our trusty Roserade, which is uh, a grass type. We need a grass type on this team to be able to take down bulky waters, as the rest of the team does not do a very good job at that. So, got a Life Orb Roserade with uh, four attacks, I believe. Leaf Storm, Giga Drain, Sludge Mom, and Hidden Power Fire. Gardevoir is also rocking Hidden Power Fire to be able to hit uh, the... Uh the fortress that you see right there in front of you. So we just hopped into a battle right here, and I've already played this guy a little bit earlier, so he knows my team a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I had Roserade at the time, however, so we'll see how that goes. As uh, Roserade's actually looking like a pretty nice lead, other than the Hydreigon. Kind of want to lead with, uh, yeah, you know what, let's lead with Cobalion. If he leads Hydreigon, I'm switching directly into Jellicent, because last time he Fire Blasted me, and Cobalion just dropped, so I'm getting right the heck out of here. We're going straight into our Jellicent as he goes for the Fire Blast. We'll see right here. He is not Life Orb, which means he is more than likely Choice Locked. Uh, I'm not going to go for the... Well, I pretty much lose nothing by going for the Wisp right here. Um, I just don't want him going into Chandelure, but I don't see him doing that on a Jellicent. So let's go for the, uh, let's go for the Will o Wisp here, get something burned, and we'll work from there. As he goes directly into his floor, just very nice. We're able to burn that thing. Obviously, he could have the aromatherapy, but I won't stick around long enough to know. Uh, I'm just actually going to get a hex off right here. He's faster than us, and he goes for an aromatherapy. Well, yeah, floor just is actually naturally faster, so. Um, I don't want to go for another wisp just in case he goes chandelure here. So, what I'm going to do is double into. Into what? Cobalion? Cobalion's good here. He's going to go into his Hydreigon, so. Uh, last time I switched into Jellicent, so he might switch it up. Hopefully that's what he does, as uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks right here, as he does not. And Fire Blast fails to knock us out this time, so we are able to get up Rocks, which is really nice. And I'm going to switch directly into Jellicent here, gain some momentum. Cobalion has Volt Switch and Leftovers, so we should be good to, to recover it up a little bit later. Comes in on floor just pretty much every time. He's going to Fire Blast again, not get a crit this time, which is very nice. And uh, here I'm actually going to double back into my Cobalion on his floor just. And we are going to be able to get off an Iron Head on something right here. More than likely the Fortress is going to come out, but uh, all is good because Kowalion is healing up some health. So, Fortress does come in as we go for the nice and Iron Head right there. He can start Spike Stacking us, but we will do it faster as we will bring out our Kowalion, uh, not our Kowalion, excuse me, our Fortress. He's going to go for a Rapid Spin, that's fine. I'm just going to go for the... Hmm, I might want to double back into... I'm kind of feeling Aerodactyl here. Um, don't want him to Gyro Ball me, though. Now, let's go for Spikes as he goes into Chandelure. That's what I was expecting, and I could have Pursuit Trapped it, but... That's fine. Um, he's more than likely going to go for a Shadow Ball right here. So, I'm actually just going to go for another layer of Spikes. As he does go for the Shadow Ball, he knocks us down to 6%. We are Leftovers. We are not Cussed up, unfortunately. As he will be able to fire off another one here and get a kill, but... Question is, what do I want to let go down? Can't be Cobalion because that gets up rocks. Um, it's looking like it's going to be this fortress right here. But if he stays in, what's good is that we'll be able to pursue trap this after with Aerodactyl and pretty much knock it out. Should he choose to stay in, we are going to take a lot of damage here, but it shouldn't be able to knock us out. He knows I have pursuit, so he stays in and he goes for his Shadow Ball, does not knock us out, of course, and we'll be able to go for. Another pursuit right here and take care of the Chandelure, which was a big threat to the team. So very nice that we were able to get rid of that. I am going to conserve my Aerodactyl. He goes into Fortress, so he might want to set up rocks right here. I don't have my spinner anymore, so I don't know if I can actually... I'm just going to go for the Taunt right here. 
just in case he doesn't want to go for rocks, as he does, awesome. And now he's pretty much forced to gyro ball us here. I'll be able to switch out into my Jellicent. And now I can freely... Oh, he goes for the Volt Switch, very nice play, okay. Well, his Fortress comes back in at like 64, so that's nice. He goes into Hydreigon here. I don't have a very good switch anymore to this thing. Uh, I'm just going to have to Will-O-Wisp here. He goes for the Dark Pulse, does a lot, obviously. Uh, I don't think that our Kabalion can actually take it, and if he is Scarfed, he will 2 hit KO us, so... Don't exactly know what I want to do here. Uh, his Dark Pulse did 52%, so that's way too much to be able to live. And... I feel like I definitely need to keep Aerodactyl around just for the Gyarados. Make sure it doesn't uh, come in and sweep me. But I guess it would outspeed me anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, Roserade pretty much puts in... A ton of work here now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this go down. Just gonna let him go for another Dark Pulse. Now, he should know that Dark Pulse won't knock out Cobalion. So, I'm kind of expecting him to go into Fortress right here. Which is why I want to double into Roserade at the same time. That's not the best play. I think, uh, I think Volt Switching might be the best play. As he actually stays in Dark Pulses and, okay, well, it does take us out. And uh, <laughs> now I'm forced into Gardevoir right here. Okay, this does not die to a Dark Pulse, so he shouldn't stay in here in theory. We'll just go for the Moonblast. It'll hit everything on his team, including the floor. Just this is Specs Moonblast. As you can see, that is a two-hit KO. Even if he gets a double protect, I think we still knock him out, so... Uh, let's go for that. And um, then he's pretty free to come in with Fortress and spin away the hazards. But at this point, I don't need the spikes anymore. They were really just for the floor, just and for the Fortress, so... Uh, he chooses to go into Toxicroak instead, though, which is definitely faster than me. Um, I want to win this game with Roserade, I think. Nah, but I need to keep Gardevoir alive. He's definitely faster than me. Yeah, I'm gonna go Roserade here. Sack it off. I'll lose our Roserade right now. Goes for the Gunk Shot. That's fine. He is Life Orb. Be able to go into Aerodactyl, and basically what I'm gonna do is, um, play around his Sucker Punches a little bit. I think that's my only chance, and I'm uh, going to switch into Gardevoir here on the first Sucker, as that is what he sh uh, actually, uh, well, I wanted to cancel that, but forget that. Okay, well, he switched into Fortress, which is nice, uh, which kind of telegraphs that he might not have the Sucker Punch, because he probably would have gone for it on an Aerodactyl. That would have definitely knocked me out, so I'm not exactly sure why he did that. I'm just going to go for the HP Fire right here, knock this thing out, and... Um, then I pretty much have to let my Gardevoir go down, in theory. Um, well, I mean, Gyarados, I think, just sweeps me at this point. Goes for the plus one. If he is jolly, I don't think he outspeeds us, actually. Yeah, no, he still doesn't outspeed us. I get to go for an edge right here and knock out his Gyarados. Awesome, okay. That takes care of that. And, uh, again, the fact that he doesn't have Sucker Punch, it seems, on his... Um, on his Toxicroak means that I can switch out here into our Gardevoir, which has pretty good special defense. I should be able to take this Dark Pulse relatively well. 49%, so it is very close to knocking us out, but not exactly. So I can do one of two things here. I can either trick and get his Choice Scarf um, and then fire off a Moonblast afterwards because I don't think we stay locked in. And either way, I mean, Arrow comes in and revenges this, so I think Trick is the play. As he goes for a Dark Pulse, I get the Trick off, gonna attain his Choice Scarf, and gonna go for the Moon Blast right here. So if he does not have the Sucker Punch with the Toxicroak, we will be able to take it out with a Moon Blast right here. So let's see if he has it. He should, I mean... Come on, you're a Toxicroak. Okay, never mind. He doesn't, so we're able to pick up that win. Purely on luck, the fact that he didn't have... Uh, Sucker Punch. That probably shouldn't have happened in any other game, but we're able to pick that one up. We actually are 1555. Where is that on the ladder? Let's see. Last time I checked, we were 200 or so. 1555 is... Yeah, 189. That's around there. Okay, I decayed a little bit from the last time we played, but right back up there. So, gonna get another game here. That was really, uh, that was really close. I like the way we played around that, uh... That Hydreigon. It was really nice to have the Scarf and uh, finish it off with a 2-0, man. You gotta play for differential. That's what I learned in uh, 
in league play. <laughs> you just gotta play for differential. That's what I was trying to do with that Keldeo, but if you guys didn't see that, go check it out. It's in uh, it's in the UPA play playlist. I'm in a league, so it's really uh, really fun. I lost my first match, unfortunately. Spoilers, sorry, but uh, <laughs> gonna try to pick it back up this week. Already got my team planned and everything. Really looking forward to this match, and uh, really looking forward to our next game in, in this live, but it doesn't seem to be coming, as it is pretty late, so I'll pause it until we get one, guys. Alright guys, we got one. And uh, this guy has like three of the same mods from the last battle, so... Not looking very original here. Um, <laughs> he has a Gliger, which is kind of hard for us to take down. I mean, I think... I think Rosary can put in the work against the Gligar, though, so I'm not too worried. Definitely need to keep Roserade for the Florges. Actually, he has no Sludge Bomb switch-ins, so that's pretty good. Um, thinking I'm going to lead with Gardevoir here. Maybe get off a huge Psychic on his Rotom. Might be the play. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Gardevoir as he leads with Mian Shao. Okay, so that's not the best lead for us, but I can just hard switch directly into... Fortress here is he might go for a knockoff, but I'd rather lose my item on Fortress than get my Jellicent knocked out by two knockoffs. He goes for a fake out, that's good. That tells us he's not scarfed, which is awesome for Aerodactyl later. And we'll be able to. Does he have any hazard removal? He has the Gligar, which potentially could have defog. I'm just gonna go for spikes right here. He's gonna go for a knockoff, that's perfectly fine. And uh, I'm actually gonna go for a layer of. Is Toxic Spikes the play? No, he's got like four things off the ground. Uh, this isn't working out too well, but I fully expect him to not go for the high jump kick right here. So I'm just going to gyro ball. Never mind, he chooses to go for a high jump kick when I have a ghost. Alright, uh, so let's just switch out into the ghost right here. On U-turn, okay. So it gets a crit right there, doesn't really matter, not a lot of damage. I could have been risking a knockoff right there, but I really didn't think he was going to go for it. Yeah, he would have gotten his Mian Chao knocked out if he went for a knockoff, so it's kind of obvious he was either going for the high jump kick or the U-turn. Choose to go into Hydreigon here. Perfectly good switch this in Cobalion, but I don't necessarily want to go directly into it. I kind of want to just recover to see what this Hydreigon is going to do, and it does seem to be... Is that Specs damage? 73%? Let's, let's calc it real quick. Um, Hydreigon. Hydreigon, as they say in the, in the anime. Um, choice scarf versus um, let's see what do we have here we have jellicent we're not physically defensive though we're specially defensive yeah we're specially defensive that shouldn't have done that much hold on a second uh, we're like calm uh, dark pulse yeah that's definitely specs so I can switch into Cobalion here pretty freely as he chooses to go into his Rotom Heat. Good play on his part. He can overheat me right here. I'm going to test the waters. This might be a bad play, but I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch just to see if he's Scarfed as well. He, uh, this thing could potentially be Scarfed just because of the fact that... Okay, so he goes for a Wisp. He is faster than us, which tells us he's Scarfed, which is amazing because that pretty much gives me a free switch back into Jellicent right here. And uh, I can just fire off a Scald at this point and try to burn something. He goes into Hydreigon. I'm gonna get the Scald off right there. And I know I can switch into Cobalion on a Dark Pulse. There we go. That does a lot of damage, but I can go for Stealth Rocks right here on his Gligar. There we go. And let's hope that this thing doesn't have Defog because that's gonna pretty much ruin my day. Let's go into Jellicent here. Just gonna keep firing off Scalds at this point. I mean, if he doesn't have Defog, then we're good. Uh, he does have it, unfortunately, though. And I'm just going to throw out a Wisp at this point. He's going to go for a U-turn. I'm fully expecting either Florges or Hydreigon to want to come in here. His Mean Shao is more than likely Regenerator, so we're going to have to deal with that thing a little bit longer. Let me try to identify my win condition right now. I think it might be, uh, I think it might be Gardevoir again, honestly. He's going to go into Hydreigon. He's going to get it burned. And... Uh, uh, how much did his last Dark Pulse do? 42, so we can't really risk switching that thing in. On the specs. Yeah, that's not a great play. But we are faster. So yeah, I can I can risk it. I can just go into Cobalion. This goes for the U-turn, that's fine. We're gonna get some leftovers recovery. As you can see, that U-turn does absolutely nothing. It actually did 1.5. I've I don't think I've seen a move do that little in very, very long. Um I think. 
think Gardevoir might be the play here. I really want to get rid of this thing's Eviolite. That's kind of why I'm contemplating going into Gardevoir right here. But I think Jellicent is just a safe all-around play. He goes for Earthquake, does relatively nothing. And we can just keep weakening his Pokemon by going for Scald. He's going to go for a U-turn right here. I could have recovered, but I'd rather go for the offensive move. Keep weakening his Hydreigon. Potentially burn his Gyarados uh, as he brings that in. And we do get the burn. That's very unfortunate for him. Great for us. Going to go for a recover right here as he switches into his Mean Shell. And uh, I'm curious, how much does a knockoff do to me? Knock off. Oh, that's not a Pokemon name, though. Knock off is definitely not a Pokemon name, guys. Um, well, he's not Life Orb, right? What was he? Is he Life Orb? I'm putting Choice Scarf, even though we know he's not Scarfed. Fake out. He didn't take any Life Orb damage, so let's just put the Choice Scarf set on here. Knock off does 68 to 80. But the question is, would he go for it? Because I have a Cobalion again, like... I mean, I know his Gligar walls my Cobalion, but... I'm, I just feel like he wouldn't go for knockoff here. Uh, I, I mean, he, I guess he knocks off my leftovers either way, which is pretty good for him. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Wisp on his knock. Because I can heal this thing back up later. And I miss the Wisp. Awesome. Alright, so let's go into Cobalion now and lose our leftovers because we need Jellicent alive. It just does so much work. And uh, yeah, so he goes for the knockoff. I'm just gonna throw off an Iron Head right here. I wanna see how much it actually does to Gligar. Uh, and that's a crit, so pretty much nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna throw out another one, honestly. Just try to flinch this thing down. It's probably not gonna work out for me, but oh, well, we got the one. Let's see if we can get another one. And we do not, and he gets off a roost. And I'm assuming he's going to roost again, so I'm going to go into Jellicent right here. As he actually goes for the Earthquake, so good play on his part. But now his Gligar is weakened. And it's weakened to the point where I think Gardevoir knocks it out. Hold on. Gligar, what's your standard set? Is it specially defensive? No, it's Fizz Def. Uh, Gardevoir. Choice Specs, where are you? I guess it would be Wall, bra uh, wall Breaker. Give me choice specs. Choice specs. Uh, not hyper voice though. Give me moon blast. Moon blast does sixty-three to seventy-one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go for that moon blast. And typically, your floor just runs physically defen uh, physically defensive in this tier. Okay, so he lives that um, for some reason. So he must be. Yeah, he's Spadef, definitely. I'm just going to go for another one right here, as he's just going to keep roosting. He's not getting anywhere with this. He's just ra w wasting roosts at this point. He's going to go into Rotom this time. It's going to take 51%. Now, we already know this thing is Scarfed. So, make a little bit of a play here. And, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is sack off Fortress, I think. Allow him to go for whatever move he wants to go for, which is going to be a Volt Switch. That's going to knock me out. But now we get initiative, as his Mean Shout comes out. We already know this thing's not Scarfed. And I don't think Scarfed Rotom outspeeds Aerodactyl after Mega Evolution. So Arrow's gonna actually put in a lot of work right here. Yeah, let's just go an Arrow. I think this thing is frail enough to die to an Aerial Ace, so that's exactly what I'm gonna go for. And, uh, I mean, he can bring in his Gyarados. His, his Gyarados is burned, his Hydreigon is burned. If his floor just has it had aromatherapy, I don't understand why he wouldn't have gone into it by now, so I doubt it actually does. It might be the Calm Mind set, the Calm Mind Wish Protect Moonblast, which is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is because he has Specs in Hydreigon, Scarf in Rotom Heat. He has Setup Sweep on the physical side with Gyarados, and he has a uh, Setup, he probably has a Setup Sweeper with Florges on the special side. And, uh, yeah, I can just go for Aerial Ace again. And knock this thing right out. Perfect. There we go. So, goodbye, Mean Xiao, as he chooses to go into his Rotom. Now, uh, let me bring up my calculator here. And, uh, let's, let's, let's calculate together, guys. 298 times 1.5. You do outspeed me. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Let's go... Hmm. Maybe Gardevoir is my play. Because I can definitely take the Volt Switch. Well, Roserade can probably take it even better. 
yeah, being a resist and all. Let's go to Roserade. He goes for the Volt Switch. It's perfectly fine. Does nothing. And, uh, actually, he has no good switches to this now. We said that Roserade was more than likely our win condition, and his only thing that could hit it really, really hard, being Mian Shao, is gone. So, he, he can't fake me out right now. He can't knock me off. His Gyarados is burned. His Hydreigon is burned, so it's going to be taking Residual if it wants to come in and try to Dark Pulse or Draco me. Uh, and then I get to go back into Aerodactyl. And then his floor just can't take a sludge bomb, so this is pretty this is a pretty bad situation for him. So let me just calc something. If um if my Moonblast wasn't killing Gligar, this is probably 252. I was doing about that, yeah. So we can say he's We can say he's impish 252, roughly. And let's go Roserade Offensive Hazards, even though that's not what we are. We're roughly that. Uh, timid. Are we timid? Let's find out. Are we timid? 278. Actually, I don't think we are. I think we're modest. Hold on a second. I'll just hop back into the team builder here. Uh, Roserade, what are you? You are modest. Okay. So I just want to calc this for later in the game. Uh, give me a modest set. Modest with life orb. Leaf storm kills. Definitely kills. So, yeah. Let's go Kobalion here. He can Fire Blast me if he wants. He goes for the Dark Pulse, though. And uh, now with the Attack Boost. Now with the Attack Boost. We can freely go for the Iron Head. As he brings in his Glagger. It does 29% and will be able to knock it out the turn after. As he chooses to switch into his Gyarados. Well, your Gyarados is not going to appreciate a Volt Switch, buddy. And neither is your Rotom, so... Um, let's see, he, we already know he outspeeds Arrow, uh, I can go into Gardevoir here, and we know he's Scarfed, he's gonna go for the Volt Switch more than likely, I mean, hold on, I have to think about this, Arrow can win now, by spamming Stone Edge, so I'm just gonna Moonblast here, because we know, we know it takes out Rotom, and it pretty much mercs anything else that wants to come in. So, these are much longer games than I expected, actually. Much longer games. Yeah. No, I, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on the UU tier now. Um, I think I'm, I'm getting better at it. Really uh, trying to pick it up in the RU tier as well. But I just feel like the RU tier is... I don't know. It's not the color palette anymore. It's really just... I find no excitement in playing the RU tier, like, there's nothing that I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm going to set up and just sweep my opponent, like, there's, there's not really anything like that, I mean, the closest thing would probably be Fletchender or Scrafty, but, no, I'm, I'm really liking this tier, I think, uh, UU is very close to being my favorite tier, as he switches out into his floor just, this is gonna take a huge moon blast, and we are going to be able to, I can switch in my Rose right here, honestly, and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do, because now he has no switch into a sludge bomb. He's going to moonblast me. He's going to get a crit right there. And a special attack drop, which is very unfortunate. But I can sludge bomb and almost knock this thing out. He goes for aromatherapy. That's going to heal the burn on his Hydreigon and his Gyarados. Very unfortunate there that we got crit and... <sighs> crit and... Special attack drop. So, Alright, while well, our Roserade is still alive, we still have Sack Fodder in, uh, in Cobalion. We're evening up this game right now. The biggest problem to me right now is his uh, is his Rotom Heat. So here I'm just going to sack my Cobalion. Just going to get rid of it. So he goes for Draco Meteor and misses. Wow. That's that's pretty big. Because now I can close combat him. Alternatively, I could get up rocks. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if he lets me get up rocks before his Gligar comes in, I think I just win. Because his Rotom falls to 7%. I have no priority on this team. What's wrong with me? Um, yeah. Yeah, if I get up rocks and they stay up, that's it. It's over. Like... And if he goes into Gligar, I have to think about... If he goes into Gligar right now on my stealth rocks, I have two options. I can either Iron Head... In which case, if he defogs, then he loses his Gligar. 
or uh, I can switch into my Roserade on what I'm expecting to be a Roost and then knock him out with the Leaf Storm after. And I think that's my play. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. As he goes for the Roost. Awesome, okay. So now we have to connect this Leaf Storm. And we do, and it doesn't take him out. And he goes for the Defog right there. And uh, obviously we needed a high roll to take him out there, but I can just fire off a Giga Drain now and knock this thing out, finally, and it's gone. And um, now he goes back into his Rotom. I don't need Roserade anymore. Uh, it's slower than his Hydreigon. It gets set up on by Gyarados, and I only have one hit left anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going for Giga Drain. He goes for a Volt Switch, which is amazing for us, because now if he goes into Gyarados, I go into my Gardevoir and get on a f an Intimidate because of Trace. Or I can go into Aerodactyl, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then if he goes into Hydreigon, then I go into my Cobalion and once again get up Rocks and weaken his Rotom to the point where it just, it can't switch in twice, so. That's the plan. And, uh, the, the thing about Rotom is that he's more than likely only got Volt Switch as an electric move. So if he Volt Switches at any time after he's coming on Rocks, then he automatically goes down. And that means that I can sack off my Cobalion to make that happen. And then just win with uh, Aerodactyl because his Hydreigon is at 51%. So if it switches out and comes back in, I believe it goes down to an Aerial Ace. I believe it takes Min 44. So he goes into Gyarados. Good play. And um, I mean, if he's adamant, uh, yeah, I can just go into Gardevoir and Moonblast him. And well, I think my best play is to just go into Cobalion, actually. Um, if he sets up on me, then he's still not faster than Aerodactyl, but I can just knock him out. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks right here. That's fine. He's gonna go for Waterfall anyway. He's gonna knock us out. And now I go into Aerodactyl. I go for the Stone Edge and knock out his Gyarados. His best play here, I think, is to sack off Hydreigon and keep his Gyarados alive, uh, in my opinion. But we'll see what he wants to do. Again, now he doesn't have a Defogger, so his Gera comes in at 45. So even if it intimidates my Aerodactyl, it's not going to live. Uh, his Hydreigon comes in and it's O-Code by... Like, I'll just show you guys here. Hydreigon. OU Choice Scarf, let's say. We know it's Specs, but uh, against Aerodactyl, it's it's O-Code by Aerial Ace. As you can... Okay, well, we don't have Aerial Ace on this set. Aerial Ace... There you go. So it does 44 min. Uh, so that's definitely a knockout after rocks. So if he uh, if he stays in right here, I mean, he has to bank on a miss. That's his only way to win. I have to hit this stone edge because if I don't, I lose. So uh, he goes in high dragon, sacks it. Um, we don't hit, but that's fine actually because I can still aerial ace here. Take this thing out. And now the only thing that can come in and threaten me is his Rotom. And I can just go into Gardevoir, sack it to whatever he wants to do. As he goes for Volt Switch, he's going to Volt Switch into his Gyarados. And I'm going to be able to Moonblast this thing and take it out. It was adamant, so goodbye Gyarados. And his Rotom comes in on rocks, and that's going to be GG. I don't like making long lives, but I think I'm just going to get one more battle for you guys. Um, yeah, there you go. Rotom comes in and goes down, so that's GG. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pause and get one more for you guys and uh, we'll be right back. All right guys, we are back for our last battle and this looks like it's gonna be a lot quicker. Why is Hydreigon on literally every team? This is insane. All right, um, Beedrill seems like a pretty obvious lead on his part. I'm just going to, I think I'm just gonna lead Arrow honestly, as he leads with his Hydreigon, so not the best for us, not the worst though. I might just stay in and stone edge this thing, honestly. Like, what do I need Aerodactyl for? I guess his Beedrill. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stone edge here. I'm going to get off my Mega Evolution. He's going to go for a Dark Pulse. It's going to do a lot, and we're going to miss stone edge. Awesome. Okay, well, we're switching into Cobalion here. And we get to see if he's Scarfed or not. And, uh, yeah. So, he switches into his Tentacruel. Good play on his part. I'm just going to go for Rocks, honestly. Got no reason not to. He can Scald me here. But he goes through Scald and does not get the burn, luckily. We're going to Volt Switch, and I'm going directly into Roserade, I believe. Uh, yeah, Roserade's good. 
It goes for a knockoff, gets rid of our life orb, which is actually not a bad thing. I can just go for the leaf storm here, do a ton of damage to this thing. He goes for a rapid spin, that's fine by me. I'm gonna do 55% with that. And I uh, don't really want to stay in on a poison move, though. Hmm. Now, I'm going to go back into Quibalion, actually. As he chooses to go into Arcanine. So, not the best switch for us. Not the worst, though. If he's defensive uh, Arcanine, which it doesn't seem like he is because he didn't get an Intimidate off. So, he's Flash Fire. Um, I think Jellicent's the best switch. He could Wild Charge here, though. That's the only problem. Well, we're going to do it anyway. See what he wants to do. He's going to go for the Flare Blitz. going to do... Whoa. That's banded. There's no denying that's banded. Uh, I'm just going to go for recover right here. He's going to go for another blitz. And he gets a crit, of course. Great. And now there's pretty much nothing I can do other than go into Aerodactyl. And fire off a Stone Edge, I think. is fine. Because he doesn't have an Intimidator on his team. Yeah, nothing wants to take this edge. So he might just have to sack his Arcanine here. He does not have a switch. And of course we miss. So, down goes Aerodactyl. Awesome. You guys are going to hear me rage for a little bit here. <sighs> Arcanine. We missed two Stone Edges and he crit a Flare Blitz. When I would have easily lived. Arcanine, you, you offensive. Are you Choice Banded? No, your Life Orb. Give me Choice Band. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I just need to know something. Gardevoir. Please tell me you kill. I hate that I have to do this every time. Um, choice specs. Moonblast. Come on. Moonblast. 42 to 49. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's go. Wait, he's probably faster than me. What am I doing? Um, yeah, I'm probably going to go down to this. Great, now I have to sack something else. Um, I guess Roserade. He actually pulls a switch into his Whimsicott, which is great for us. As now, I can go for the Sludge Bomb pretty freely. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to sub. I guess he's going to try to sub stall us. That's not going to work because we lost our Life Orb. So, unless he wants to go for a Memento, which might be his best play. I can still win this. I just need to... Uh, kill the Beedrill? R like, really? What? I'm not sure why he switched into that. I'm just going to go into Fortress here, as he goes for the Protect, obviously. Um, kind of just want a Gyro Ball right now, but... I think going for Spikes is my best play. He goes for a U-Turn, does absolutely nothing. Going to get up a layer of Spikes here. He's probably going to go into his... Oh, he goes into Hydreigon, okay. Well, I know you're going to Fire Blast me, so let's go into Gardevoir here. And then he has no Moon Blast switches, so... Gonna trace the levitate, not that that does anything. He's gonna go for the fire blast. That's definitely specs. Luckily, he doesn't burn us. What a what a surprise. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we're picking up a kill right here. Definitely, something's going down to this specs moon blast. Just because his tentacruel is like so low, it's at thirty six percent. So I personally wouldn't sack it if I were him because spikes actually hit four things on his team. So it's not the best play. He chooses to go into Arcanine, so we get rid of that thing. Thank goodness. That was the biggest threat, I think, to our team. Honestly. Uh, as his Beedrill comes in, so... I'm... I stand corrected. Uh, he's probably gonna go for the U-turn right here. I kinda wanna go into Cobalion, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and really hope he misses a... Really hope he misses a Fire Blast, honestly. I think that's, like, my only chance. He goes into Hydreigon, and... I have to dodge a Fire Blast. Like, I, I don't have another play. I don't have a switch into that. Hopefully he misses like I miss both my Stone Edges. And he doesn't, of course. So, something else is dying here. Let's find out what it is. Let's play this game. Moon Blast away. That's pretty much just going to come down to him constantly U-turning with his, uh, with his Beedrill. As uh, his uh, Whimsicott goes straight down. I mean, he could go Mammoth Swine right here if he really wanted to. If he doesn't want to keep day taking... To okay, Tentacruel it is. Are you offensive with, like, a lot of speed? You must be. Hmm. You're going to go for Sludge Wave right now. Or Rapid Spin. I could see either or. Yeah, I'm going to go into Fortress here. I think it's my best play. 
Goes for rapid spin. Tries to get rid of the spike. Um, he can go for scald. So what I'm actually gonna do is double into Roserade, I believe. On the scald. Yeah. Double into Roserade. He actually goes for another knockoff here. Trying to get rid of my leftovers. Okay, smart play. Smart play. Except now you don't have a Leaf Storm switch in. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. As he chooses to go straight into his Hydreigon. Okay. It's gonna take 42%. And let's see what he goes for. I'm going for a Sludge Bomb. He goes for a Dark Pulse. Awesome. Okay. So, I think Gardevoir can take that from the last game. I think we calced it. Or I can go into Fortress here. I know Fortress can probably take a Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go for a Gyro. As he does. And we don't get flinched. Okay, so we're able to take that out. Fortress can handle his Beedrill. Which means he more than likely has to go into Tentacruel here. Which means then I get off a Psychic. So, if we can play this correctly. If he does not go for the Poison move here. We can definitely still win. So I need to go into Gardevoir. Need to trace uh, Liquid Ooze. He goes for the Scald. He's not going to burn. So something's dying here. We know that much. Uh, he could be Sash Mammo. I'm not putting. I'm not taking that off the table. He goes for knockoff. Doesn't knock us out. Gets rid of our choice specs. We're gonna go for psychic. He can go into his beedrill, um, which he does, which is perfectly fine. Again, beedrill can't do anything to fortress, and I still have my leftovers. Can we just see how much his U-turn did last time? Was it 10? 10 percent? Uh, that was on Cobalion, right? Seth Rogen, yeah. Let's let's control F Seth Rogen. Um, that's that. Okay. No. Uh, it's not very effective. Fortress lost fourteen point four percent. So I don't know if I'm ready to take that. I really just have to hope his mammoth swine is not sashed or banded. Gotta hope it's like life orb so we can take the hit. I gotta go for psychic right here. Get rid of this control F right now. Come on, Fortress. Come through for us. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Wait. Okay, yeah, you still have your leftovers. I wasn't sure. Uh, did we get just get them? No, we didn't. I'm going to go for Gyro. He's going to go for EQ. And it's going to knock us out because he's Life Orb. All right. Well, that's going to be a loss. And uh, that's very unfortunate. But what are you going to do? That's, uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. And uh, we did get hacked out in this game, I feel. Like, uh, he, he drops a GG. I'm not, no. I'm not going to say GG because, no. Just, just no. And he leaves. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, no, that's not him. All right. So, that's, uh, <laughs> that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you enjoyed watching me rage as I missed two stone edges, uh, please leave a like down below. Uh, if you did not enjoy me raging, please let me know why. Love to know that. Leave it in the comment section down below. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more rages when I miss moves. And, of course, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Ciao.